Uh, hey guys, uh, my name's Cody, and this is our project we have to do for Olin. And I have a story for you guys today, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. It's by someone named Portia Nelson. It's called Autobiography in Five Short Chapters. And I'm just gonna start. Chapter one, I walk down the street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in, I am lost, I am helpless. It isn't my fault. It takes forever to find a way out. Chapter two, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I am in the same place, but it isn't my fault. It still takes a long time to get out. Chapter three, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it is there. I still fall in. It is a habit. My eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Chapter four, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. And chapter five, I walk down a different street. You can probably tell that I'm wanting to talk about sin and how sin affects our lives. And in the story, we can see this guy falling in this dark hole each and every day, trying to find a way out and just like saying it wasn't his fault, saying he didn't see it or something like that. And it is until the fourth and fifth day that he finally gets out and he admits that it was his fault and he knows what he's done. And then he just avoids the street entirely. And that's how it kind of like, that's kind of like how it is with us. We sin and we, it becomes habit and we don't know what to do. We do it each and every day. And eventually we don't know how to get rid of it. But that's when God shows up. He shows us how to change. He changes us whenever we pray to him and ask him to change us. He wants us to change. He is there for us. And that's what this guy needed. He needed that push in the right direction. He kept following this hole and then he got out because he knew what he was doing. He knew he had done wrong. And sometimes we don't want to admit that we're doing wrong. We want to say that we're doing right. We want to pretend that we don't know what we're doing, that we don't know the difference between right and wrong. When in fact, we all know the difference between right and wrong. We know what we're doing. In James 4, 17, it says, if you know the good you ought to do and you don't do it, therefore you sin. And so that's what we need to learn from this. We need to learn that we know sin. We can see sin in our lives, but we need to work on cutting it out. We need to learn not to fall down that dark hole. We need to learn how to walk down a different street. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you got something out of it. So just see ya.